Hi there, I'm the Nature Guy, and back here again from the Nature Center at Camp Asable on a beautiful spring morning. And I have a question for you. What do you think of as one of the first signs of spring? Well, it might be the snow melting. I like making maple syrup, so when the sap starts flowing out of the trees, that's kind of, yeah, it's springtime, and we're doing that right now. Uh, some may say, what's well, when the robins come back? Well, that's an interesting story because um, it's more complicated than that. And, and I want to share that with you today. So it turns out that uh, there's two subspecies of robins that we have in Michigan. One subspecies, they breed here, that is they nest and raise their young here in Michigan and Ontario and Pennsylvania and, you know, the Great Lakes states. Um, when fall comes and it gets too cold so that they can't dig up worms and bugs in the ground, they've got to leave and they got to migrate. And so they migrate further south, maybe down to the Gulf Coast states. Okay. Um, and in the spring, of course, they'll come back. Well, there's another subspecies of robins that live much further north in the northern boreal forests in Manitoba and northern Ontario and those places. Um, and when they migrate because it gets too cold, they come to Michigan and Ohio and Pennsylvania and some of the Great Lakes states and spend the winter here. So we can have robins year round in Michigan. The ones we see in the summertime in our lawns, well, that's the southern subspecies that migrate and they're gone for winter. But in late fall and winter, usually around some of the berry trees, or old orchard trees that still have a few apples on it. You've seen that in the winter time, there's some leftovers from the farming process. Um, you'll sometimes see robins. There's not as many of them, but we have robins in the winter that we're from further north. They somehow think of Michigan in the winter as a warm, balmy place, but I guess compared to where they came from, it is. And so we can have robins year round, but they're two different groups. Now, some people ask, do they look the same? They, they look like robins, but the ones from the north are usually bigger. Uh, they have a darker colored gray on their back, and the orangey breast is actually darker orange. It's more intensely colored. The ones that are here in the summertime are just a little lighter version of that. And when you see both of them side by side, you, you notice the difference. So, are robins the best sign for spring is coming? Well, if it's the southern ones coming back, that means spring. If it's the northern ones that were here all winter and they leave, that means spring. But just because you see a robin doesn't mean it's spring. So what's the lesson we can learn from these robins? Well, they're maybe not a good uh, detector of the season, but it reminds me of something else. Sometimes we call ourselves Christian we don't act like Christians. That's a bad sign, okay? We don't want to do that. We want to make sure that when people see us, they know we're Christian and they know we love Jesus. That's our lesson for today. See you next time. Bye.